In this video we're going to talk about GitHub and honestly I'm a huge fan of GitHub. It's such a great tool and it's easily one of my favorite online services. And I know a lot of developers that use Bitbucket and are really happy with them and that's totally fine. In these videos we're going to focus on GitHub because that's what I use and I don't mind paying for it because it's, it's just really good. And if you're a student there's the GitHub student package deal where you get a lot of stuff for free including free private repositories as well uh, so if you're a student you should definitely check that out so in the next few videos we're going to talk about github and sort of the workflow involved with using github and just so we're all on the same track i just wanted to quickly sort of describe what github is and what you can use it for GitHub is a service that allows you to host your Git repositories. So basically you push your local Git repository onto their servers and then they keep a copy of the plugin on their servers. So you have a backup and you also have an easy way and really awesome way of collaborating with other developers. So basically all they do is that they keep a backup of your repository and then they pull out all this cool information and, and provide it to you in a very easy to understand way. So you can, see, of course, you can see the files of the repository. You can see a list of the commits. And of course, you can see a diff for the different commits. You can also set up a wiki for your Git repository if you are more people working on it or if it's an open source repository. You can see pull requests which we're going to talk about in the next video. And you can fork other people's repositories which is great if you want to contribute to their plugins and we're also going to talk about that in a later video. If you're involved with open source or if you want to in any way you need to sort of learn your way around GitHub because that's where most of it is going on. If you want to contribute to something like WordPress Calypso, it's also on GitHub. Even WordPress Core is on GitHub now. And I think you can contribute there even though they still use SVN and Subversion behind the scenes. So in the next video, we're going to talk about pull requests. And then in the video after that, we're going to talk about the open source workflow. Then there's going to be a third video one where I'm just going to show you some of the really cool things you can do on GitHub. So stay tuned for the next few videos about GitHub. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 B